got another mailbag Monday video for you. Got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six packages, so let's get started. First off, we have a lamp, one lamp. Ah, not just a lamp. Actually, three different things in here. Let's check them out. First off, this is a USB powered LED light. Like a flashlight. I guess you could use it as a flashlight. I got this, I think it was like 75 cents. It's in a little case you can take the cap off. Plugs into a USB. Now I have some battery packs for my phone that I use. I got one right here. This is an anchor. I recommend those. Good, good packs. So let's see. Yeah, it works pretty good. Let's see if I can turn off the lights here. Let's see how bright it is. I mean, I'm holding that light up. It's probably. Probably at least four or five feet off my desk, and it lights it up pretty good. So I think that not too bad for what it is. For you know, seventy-five cents, I can't complain. Right. And next is this little tin, and I got this. I was trying to make my own fire starters. Something I can. Throw my pack, a little fire kit, or just throw my pocket, or you know, just I don't know, looking for some containers to make fire kits with. And this one is about an inch and a half around across, and about five eighths of an inch to three quarters of an inch depth. Nothing fancy about it. There's no good seal or anything on it, but I figure I could keep some tinder in there, maybe some jute twine something like that you know vaseline cotton balls it'd probably keep it you know dry enough to get a fire going with and next i have some uh cord locks I had a project in mind of let's go make a bag i forgot what kind of bag it was I actually have to go back in my notebook of ideas and see what kind of bag it was but I got these, I think they were like 75 cents or a dollar for, you know, however many is in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, about nine or ten of them, so about seven cents a piece, so not too bad of a deal. Up next, we have a stint. Don't remember needing a stint. We're we'll buying one. We'll find out what it is, though. I know what it is just by the feel of it and the sound of it. Uh, I've got to order a couple things from this seller. All right, first off, these are Molly clips. You attach it to your molly pack and you can attach another molly pack to the molly pack if you don't have clips or you know, your bag didn't come with them, whatever. And I think these were like a dollar for two of them, I think it was. Maybe a dollar for one, I don't know. It was pretty reasonable, pretty expensive. You know, they seem to be decently made. I mean, it's not not the greatest. It's Chinese, Chinese stuff, obviously. But Gubbin OD Green. Figured I'd try them out. I got a pack that uh, I want to add in a little smaller pack to it, and I think those might just do, might just do what I need them to do. And next is this big honking ferro rod. This is a five inch by I think it's half inch, yeah, half inch diameter ferro rod. Came pre-drilled. And this was, I think, $8 for two of them, or it might have been $8 for one of them. But this is pretty substantial ferro rod. But like all the other stuff, it's Chinese made. And I'm going to make my own grip for the end of it. 
and put a little lanyard in it maybe got a good size camping trip coming up here in a couple weeks and try to get those ready to go by then we'll see what happens maybe i'll do a video on them see how the well they work see how well they don't work and we'll see up next is a reading magnifier pretty good size package You see my other some of my fire fire Friday videos. I got a fire started with a small pocket magnifier. Actually, I still carry carry one in my pocket, in my wallet. Give a couple to my buddy. He carries in his wallet. And doing some research, I found out when well, I really how truthful it is. But I saw where it's not necessarily the magnification. Of the magnifier it's more the surface area which got to me thinking i've seen some videos from like the king of random and other youtubers where they took the lenses out of big flat screen tvs old projection screen tvs and made a giant fresno lens and and just caught just crazy stuff on fire and cooked food and just because it was so much light source focus into one area so what i was thinking i need to find me a bigger magnifier than a pocket magnifier now i can take this since it's you know thin i can actually take it and throw it in my backpack and not take any space and you can tell it's got some it's, i think this is three times magnification it's a five by seven three times magnification what they call the a5 size so I was planning on getting a video out about this, but right now my state, the entire state's under a burn ban. So I'm going to abide by the rules. I don't want to catch my backyard, my neighbor's yard, or the woods on fire. So I'm going to have to wait for the burn ban to get done before I can try that out. But I'm pretty sure it's going to work. But y'all look for an upcoming video about that. And up next we have a hanging buckle. Quantity of one. I saw a video on YouTube or Facebook where a guy was hanging his ridge line in a kind of a unique manner. It got me thinking, I want to try it out. What he did, he, in his ridge line, he had a bowling knot. And further into the ridge line, he had little. These aren't carabiners, but they're more of a, I guess they call it an eight beaner or S beaner, whatever. But this is a locking type. And I got a pack of five of these for $2.10. So about 40 cents a piece, almost 50 cents a piece. And what he did is, is he looped his bowling around the tree. And this was attached to a ridge line here. And this piece clipped on the bowline. And then he pulled tension. So I'm not sure how strong these are going to be. That's why I got a couple of different pairs. I haven't got all of them in yet. This is the one of the first ones that came in. Kind of like this one because it actually has a locking mechanism on it. If I can get it to unlock. There it goes. Just unsnaps. Twist free. And then you can hook it on your line whatever you want to do with it really and then when you get done you just lock it but i figured for you know about 40 50 cents a piece i give them a try i think the idea is going to work as long as they are strong enough to hold the tension you know i don't know how much tension you put on on a guy line for a tarp or tent you know but we're going to find out if these will hold it up, hold up to that amount of tension I'm going to use. And I'll see if I can get a video on it. If it works out or not, I'll let you know. Up next is a four-piece lot camping survival, eight-shape climbing, and a three LED tent hanging lamp. Three modes. Pretty much tells you exactly what it is. There's no guessing with this one. There 
is my other eight beaners or eight binders, however you say it, whatever you want to say it. It's a little bit different type than the ones I just had. These don't have the locking mechanism in them. And these four were $1.40. So a little bit cheaper than the other ones. These are about 30 cents a piece. They feel, actually feel cheaper than the other ones. They just feel chintzy. But the one thing I liked about these was this piece right here. It's not as smooth of a curve as compared to this one. So I figured maybe I can get a better bite on my rope with it. I don't know if it's going to work out. Just just trying some different ones. See you know which one works, which one doesn't. They don't work them that out a whole lot of money. Like I said, these were I think 30 cents a piece. They're you know, like a dollar thirty-five, dollar forty for all four of them. Didn't have a choice in colors, it just came in black and silver. I can deal with it. And next, and it looks like it's broken. Let's see here. This is a camping LED camping light. As you can tell, it's got three good size LEDs there. Include this little cheap carabiner. Let's see if I can get this. There it goes, just snaps in place. What this is, just has, uh, you can hook it up in your tent, under your hammock, hang it from a guy line. Has this little carabiner with it. And it has three modes. It has a high, medium, and an SOS. You click the little buttons. And it runs off of three AAA batteries. Let's see if I can get it open here. Nothing fancy about it. It's probably not. It's water. It says it's waterproof. I don't know how waterproof it is, but it has a little piece here. So let me go get some AAA batteries. See if I got some. I'm not sure if I even got any AAA batteries at the house right now. Let me see if I can get some AAA batteries and uh, let's see how the weather works or doesn't work. All right, got some batteries in here. Holds three. And inside there's two contacts that meet up with these two contacts. So I'm gonna try to line them up. If there's a certain way it's going to let me go in. Yep, there's a little track here. Tail right there. And... Hmm. Try to figure out how that track lines up. Just trying to whoop me today. Okay, that's what it does. It doesn't go all the way in. Forgot the cap covers it up. Eh, having a blonde moment. It's been a long day. And it's all plastic, so I mean, be careful cross-threading it. If you do decide to get one. Hmm. There it goes. Because the light's off here. I guess that's high, medium. They call that SOS. It's not Morse code for SOS, but there's high, medium, not much change in it, in the SOS. So, yeah, I think it'll do all right for, you know, hanging in my, my tent, hanging off the ridge line of a tarp or something like that yeah i think this one was uh i think i paid like a dollar fifty dollar sixty for this they had the carabiner and which is kind of funny because i forgot that i actually ordered ordered another one and i ordered this one originally and i think i just ordered the first the second one by mistake not realizing it but then once i did realize i bought two of them i realized the first one i bought which is this one a little bit different design same principle same um you know pretty much the same shape but this one has a hook instead of a carabiner which the hook might work a little bit better in some situations where the carabiner might hook a little bit different a little better in different situations this one was uh, about a dollar dollar fifty dollar sixty something like that this one was like 75 cents so 
you know, basically it looks like I paid about a, almost a dollar for this little cheap carabiner. But, you know, we've all bought stupid things online and had buyer's remorse at one time in our life. Anyways, just a little camping gear stuff I got trying to work on. The weather's starting to cool off and, you know, just trying to get some little things going, a little gear. Trying some different things out. This, that, and the other. But anyways, I appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you next time.